said, hi guys. Hi, First Shay. of all, this show is so cute. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. I'm actually due with a little girl in November. So I feel like this is gonna be the perfect show to have on in the background with the newborn baby. So Kristen, let me start with you. Tell me why this is the perfect show for little ones. Well, in the midst of arts programs being cut in public schools all over, it's a big bummer. And I wouldn't be where I am today without music in my life. There's so much science to support that learning music at an early age helps you with math, with social skills, with hundreds of other things. It develops your brain. Music is also one of the things we have as humans that can change our mood. So we were able to create this show that worked. It really unfolded for us. It was like an idea that was waiting to happen. We needed to fill a hole in the market, right? We needed to give kids music, but also you have to have a kid's show that teaches emotional lessons about how to be a, a human, because it's hard to learn how to be a human. And the emotional lesson is tied in with the music lessons. So they're learning about about rests in music at the same time that they're learning about when they need to listen to their body and rest. And it's bringing all that to your doorstep with music written by Jackie Tone and Dave Schuler, who write for huge artists with music that doesn't make you want to put the television in the microwave as a mom. You know, they're songs that are, are catchy and they represent all 52 different genres. There's representation of reggae and rock and country and blues and jazz and like an Olivia Newton-John 80s style, my personal fave. So mm -hmm. everything about this show was was of paramount importance to me. I love that. And you bring up the 52 songs. So Jackie, my next question is for you. How did you come up with 52 original songs? Like that is well, first of all, as a my, my, Mike Sharp and I created the show. So I, as we were writing the songs, I was like, why, this was my idea. Why did I give myself this much work? This is insane, but I'm so proud. And I think while we were doing it, it wasn't as overwhelming as looking back now and going like 52 songs and 52 genres. Um, you know what? It was just exciting, dream fulfilling. It was, it was a, the most amazing experience. And like KB said, we wanted to make sure that we weren't making just kids music, because I know my nieces and nephews, KB's kids, they're listening to Hamilton, Bruno Mars. It's not just Baby Beluga, which also is great and has value, but kids are smarter than we think they are. They're more nuanced than I think we think we are, than they, we think they are. And so to really be exposing them to music of such varying genres was really, was the, was the point from the very beginning. And the show, to, be, to be honest, Shay, the, the reason that Jackie was able to be so prolific and Dave with writing 52 different songs and we were able to produce 52 different episodes is because the show had a purpose. Like, you know, I've worked on plenty of shows where entertainment was the purpose and that's still really, really fun. But sometimes you can, there's a lot of subjectivity to entertainment. There's not a lot of subjectivity to passion about bringing um, music education in front of kids, right? There's an outline. You teach them music, uh, but you pretend you're not. You make it entertaining. Like we, it was such a clear mantra and Bible from the beginning. And there was so much passion behind the show because everyone involved was either musical or had nieces and nephews or had kids and was like, oh yeah, this show's very important. And so the drive behind it was just like fire and lightning for everyone. I love that. And you can, you can see that definitely in the episodes, at least in the few episodes I watch, you can see the difference between this one and other ones that are out there. Um, Kristen, I got to ask, so did you get the seal of approval from your kids? They actually yeah. have, well, look, do you have any idea how hard it, I, I had to fight to get this guitar up here for this shot? Because Let me guess, did your daughter want it? <laughs> my six-year-old did not. Well, first of all, I'll tell you this. She, a, a box came of all of our toys, because we also have toys and, and more importantly, even apps to accompany this, because on the apps, the kids are going to be able to not only listen to cool types of music, but make their own music and make it with friends. It's all team building. It's all like, get into your own head, become smarter. It's great. But my daughter opened this box before I got access to it and she took all of them up to sleep. So she slept with them. I was like, that's fine. I'm going to need them for a press tour on Monday. And then we were walking out. I sent Jackie a video of this. We were walking up and down the street. She put them all in a big bag. She put masks on all of them to make sure they were safe. And we had to go grocery shopping with these guys. So they've been around town. Yeah, they've been around town. Also, I she love was that. That's so cute. 
Yeah, also she was wearing a bikini and Crocs and I nearly died when That's I- That's what we grocery shop in. That's what we grocery shop Fashion, she's yeah. making a statement and I'm proud of her. I love it. <laughs> um, well, I'm getting, I got a few minutes left, but I want to talk to you guys about your friendship. I know you guys have been friends for years. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's about 18 years. Do you guys remember that first day you met and how you guys became such great friends? Well, we met, we didn't, we saw each other before we met because we were work, we were each independently working with this director, Andy Fickman, doing different plays. So I came to her play, she came to my play, and apparently we both told him, like, who is that? I liked that one. That one's my friend. And we were both sort of, we were super young and both new here from New York. And we were, and then he was like, I, I told him, oh, I liked her. And it was like in this random 99 seat theater show. And he goes, oh, she said the same thing. And he let, gave us each other's numbers. And I think we went to the flea market. Flea market. We went to the flea. We met up at the flea market on um, La Brea here in Los Angeles. And we Fairfax. just- like, Fairfax. And we just dug around for different knickknacks and spent the day together. And I was like, I love you. I love that, that story. 150 years ago. So what does it mean to you guys now being able to create this show together with the history that you guys have? It's the best. Well, Short it's answer. the best, but I'll tell you specifically why it's the best. I like working with my friends. And I'll, and the reason is because I like working with people I trust and that I have a shorthand with. Everything is smoother with economy of language, not a ton of social capital spent. Like, that's the reason I like working with my husband and I'll do it forever because I trust him and I know his skill set and I know he's got my back and, and we have a shorthand. And the same thing with Jackie. It's like, I was more the business side of this um, a project and she was more the creative, but anytime she said, I need to be able to do this, fight for it. I'd say, okay, I trust you. And anytime I said, we absolutely can't do that, it's got to stop. She'd go, okay, great. Like, you know, or any, any type of developmental thing. Cause we developed it for, you know, a year and a half and it goes through a lot of executives, but our team was able to stay in such cohesion because there's a friendship trust there. And it made the process so easy. I love that. I love that. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm so excited for the show. I'm getting the wrap already, but I wish I could keep talking to you both. You're so fun, but congratulations. And it was fun talking to you both. Thank you, Shay. Mazel on the baby. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, November 11th. Oh, oh. yeah, baby.